Hundreds of athletes from around the country are in town competing to be the ultimate players club champion. And even if you're not interested in coming out to watch the games, well, it could still mean a boost for your neighborhood. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan is live in the studio to explain. Jessica. Well, more than 60 teams from 20 states across the country have competed in qualifying games for months to make it to this four-day championship game. And the players are here spending time and money. That could mean a huge profit for Sarasota. Agility, speed, and a good arm. That's what these teams say you've got to have to make it as an ultimate player. Hand-eye coordination. Uh, just, you know, you're catching the frisbee all the time. You're trying to throw the frisbee into tight spots. The 31st annual Ultimate Players Association Club Championships are going on right now at the Lakewood Ranch Polo Club. More than 1,500 athletes make up 60 teams. They're hitting the field in a four-day long event, which ends Sunday. Each team's goal? To be named the Ultimate Players Club Champion. For every team out here, it's a goal to get here. A lot of people put in many hours a week, so when you finally get here, it just feels like you've achieved a big goal. The Ultimate Players Association Club is based in Colorado. It hosts nearly 1,500 events every year, like this one. Athletes from all over the country participate. Kieran Thomas is here from Austin, Texas. Just, yeah, there's a lot of energy with everybody. You can just feel it in the air. Organizers welcome the public to come out and watch the tournaments. The Sarasota Convention and Visitors Bureau has the same sentiment. They're banking on this event, saying each year these games bring in nearly $3 million to the local economy. And that can be especially good for business this time of year. You know, October is usually a slower month for tourism. And this is bringing in people that normally wouldn't come to Sarasota if it wasn't for this tournament. And the great thing is it's college kids that are our future visitors. Teams will compete in multiple games to earn a spot in Sunday's final tournament. As for the competition, players say it's stiff, but may the ultimate player win. Right now, the only Florida team is based in Jacksonville. They are part of the tournament this week. For more information on joining a team, you can contact the Sarasota Convention and Visitors Bureau. Lauren.